Hail the King, baby. This week on YouTube, we're meeting some king snakes. Welcome once again to our YouTube channel. Uh, welcome to our subscribers, new and old, and anyone who's stumbling on us for the first time or see find us through social media. Uh, thanks for joining us. And today, this week, we are going to talk about king snakes. Uh, king snakes is a fairly large family of uh, North American colubrid snakes, and they get their name because one of the things they lead in the wild is other snakes. Now, this one is probably one of my favorite king snakes, a very, very popular species. This is a baby Mexican black king snake. So they're found in the Sonoran Desert in Mexico, they're found in Arizona, but they tend to be found in places that have a bit more vegetation and not quite as hot and dry as a lot of other desert species. Now, the interesting thing is, despite the name, they're not actually black. They are more of a very, 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 very dark brown. And then the way light reflects and the way our eyes see them, it looks like it's coal black. So this is just a little baby. This is my female. I do have a pair of them and I got them in November. So they're now about six months old. Since November, it has probably more than tripled in size. Uh, they do grow fairly fast. Uh, he is eating pinkies. He's eating two of those, but pretty sure we're going to be bumping up to fuzzies or her up to fuzzies pretty quick. Uh, they do really well on rodents. So even though they will eat other snakes, people don't feed them snakes as pets. So just take a closer look at the Mexican black king snake. And then we're going to meet another really cool king snake. Up next, I have the Grey Band King Snake, which, of course, because we're filming, decided to go in shed. But for people who've never seen a snake in shed before, this is what it looks like. So normally, the gray and the orange really pop, but you can even see his eyes are blue. So what's going to happen is uh, the skin's actually going to clear. Right now, he is effectively blind, but when he is ready to shed, that'll clear. They'll find something rough and rub their nose on it. That skin will split, and it will just roll off. Uh, on average, my adult snakes tend to shed about every other month, about every six to eight weeks or so. Uh, a lot of people are surprised by that. They think it's a lot less. Other people think it's a lot more. As a baby, because they're growing, they do tend to shed more. Now, the gray band king snake is obvious how it gets its name because it has gray bands. So their color pattern is actually very similar to another species that's found in the Arizona mountains that these guys call home, which is the banded rock rattlesnake. So this is a form of mimicry. Uh, if threatened, they will also rattle their tail. This is something a lot of king snakes will do, a lot of corn snakes, bull snakes, rat, uh, pine snakes, to try and convince a predator that they are venomous, even though they are not. So it is uh, just basically a form of, of mimicry, of protection. We'll even see that in Alberta, the bull snakes here will wiggle their tails as well to pretend that they are a rattlesnake. Now, I have had this snake for about uh, 12 or 13 years. Uh, it does have a bit of a JLo booty, as I've liked to describe it in the past. This is something that it was born with. It was just kind of like a genetic defect that basically gave it like fatty tissue in the tail. Uh, so instead of it being a proper taper, it's thick at the back and then abruptly turns into the tail. So I got this snake from a breeder who did not want to go to someone that was going to breed her because they didn't want to pass on the pass on that issue if it was genetic or, you know, whether or not they'd be able to pass eggs could also be a problem. And so that is our Grey Band King. Speaking of bright eyes and mimicry, Gordon here has that down pat. Of course, if you're watching this, you've probably heard the poem, Red on Yellow, Kill a Fellow, Red on Black, You're Safe, Jack. So, this snake is red, black, and yellow. It is harmless. Red, yellow, and black is typically a coral snake. Coral snakes are venomous, but fortunately, they tend to uh, be very shy and reclusive animals, and they don't bite. But you do want to not pick them up, not grab them. 
So once again, trying to convince the snake that uh, another predator that they are venomous, just like the gray banded king snake, just a different one. Most people think of this color pattern as belonging to milk snakes, but there are lots of different species of snakes that will kind of do this kind of mimicry patterning as well, including several different species of king snakes. So this is a Arizona mountain king. And you'll notice uh, one of Gordon's eyes looks kind of funny. So he does have a cataract, so he is blind in one eye. Again, it's nature. Like, animals just don't remain perfect. They age, they can get injuries, even in, in captivity, uh, even as pets. So it doesn't affect him at all. It doesn't affect him moving around or exploring. Uh, he definitely, you know, the tongue helps. It does not affect his appetite or feeding at all. He is very 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 happy and very on the ball to strike it as prey and eat so overall uh not a problem for him to be blind in one eye of the many many types of king snakes that there are available the california king is probably the most popular in the pet trade uh because they're just they're really great snakes uh, the coloring is really nice they do come in a lot of different morphs albinos lavenders bananas uh, so this is a regular California king. Uh, despite the name, they have a territory much larger than California. They're found all the way up to Oregon, down into Mexico, far west into Utah and Nevada and Arizona. So it's not just in California. One of the things that king snakes are really known for is their food response, especially as babies. And we experienced this while I was filming Scaled, so check out this clip from Scaled where a much younger version of this snake decided that I looked like a snack. Can I bite you? Yeah. So apparently he's a little hungry, Emma, and apparently my finger might be tasty. This is actually the first time he has ever bit me. It's one of the things about California kings is they are known to have a bit of a strong feeding response. He apparently has decided on this particular day that my finger is tasty, but how am I reacting right now? You're not really. No, right? This doesn't hurt. I'm more just sitting here going, really? You're doing this to me right now when I'm trying to talk about you to Emma and share how cool king snakes are and you're like, well, I feel like having a snack on you. When he does finally let go, there's not even going to be any blood. His teeth are very small. Uh, he's got a good grip on me. He's, he's holding on really tight, but uh, it doesn't hurt. To That's so cool. Now, that is actually the only time he ever did that was on camera. So he's never really tried to bite since then. And now you can see he's checking things out. He's not trying to eat me. So I think maybe that was just a phase or in that moment, maybe something else I'd handled triggered a feeding response. But since then, he's become a lot calmer and I never had that issue. But that is one thing you have to keep in mind. So king snakes can be a great choice for a pet. The important thing to remember with any kind of pet animal is to make sure you do that homework and find out whether a king snake or another animal is the right fit for your family. So I hope you've enjoyed checking out our king snakes today. These are the four king snakes that I have. I also have another black king. Uh, hopefully, once some restrictions lift, I can get down to Medicine Hat and visit Ty, uh, also from Scaled. He works with king snakes and has some absolutely spectacular ones. So that's one of the things I want to do is film a king snake video with him as well as some of his other cool animals. But in the meantime, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to uh, make sure that you get notified when we're doing another video. We release videos every Tuesday. You can catch them early by signing up for our Patreon and also uh, check out our social media. You'll get all sorts of information on us. Uh, if you're in Calgary, we have summer camps that are currently registering. Uh, we have out school classes where you can meet these animals virtually. So lots that we're doing, guys. And the money that comes in right now from our virtual programming and things like out school and Patreon does go to help our animals. Because at this point, we are still not open to be able to do birthday parties and the events that we do. So in the meantime, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.